At this year's Google I.O. conference, they unveiled their vision for how generative AI will be used in the search results page. And since Google enjoys 90% market share, which by the way, hasn't budged all year, even with all the hype around the Bing ChatGPT partnership, you need to pay close attention. Immediately after the demo at Google I.O., I jumped on the wait list and anxiously waited to get my hands on it and see it in action for law-related searches because, I mean, that's what we're all about here. Now that I've been playing around with it for a bit, I kind of like it. In fact, I actually like it a lot. And I think your law firm is gonna get more traffic from Google, not less. And here's why. Google is doing what ChatGPT doesn't. They're giving credit to the source. Let's see Google generative search results in action. I'm gonna ask Google a question about employment law. And let's find out if programmers are exempt from overtime laws in San Francisco. Over here on the left, I get the AI response. This answers my question with a little more details than what you would get from a classic featured snippet. And at the top right, Google is sharing sources for their generated content. So I could click on McCormick Law Firm and learn a little bit more. Some publishers have been complaining that Google's generative results are actually just verbatim text lifted from their website, which would basically make it a featured snippet in a fancy box. But when I ran the generated output about overtime laws through CopyScape and saw if there was any verbatim copying, there was really only one small section that was used verbatim from McCormick Law Firm's website and that was just a description of the law, which isn't really something that can be uniquely worded while still maintaining accuracy. Uh, but the people making those claims have provided screenshots that prove that sometimes that is happening on the generative output. So the generative search output is essentially a fancy featured snippet built from multiple sources. Now, since McCormick's website is the featured snippet for the overtime question, it tells us that Google might be using similar quality scoring for their AI sources as they do for rankings and choosing featured snippet content. With generative AI, there are now three or more opportunities to be featured on the top of the page. Now in this case, since my client is the featured snippet, I'm not really that thrilled that they're now gonna be sharing the spotlight among the generated sources with two other people, but I am confident that we'll be able to be featured as a source for a wide variety of employment law topics now, which will ultimately be a net positive.